Hi Paul, how are you? Hi Adam, good, thanks. Good, good. I'm glad to see you in our greenhouse in uh, Maudsley uh, this morning. Uh, I believe you're going to be showing us the quad grow. I believe you've been planting some of the plants this year in the quad grow. So um, just uh, I can see the greenhouse behind you. So where are you keeping the quad grows? Uh, if you have a look here, we've got a quad grow right at the back of the greenhouse with bell peppers in. And that quad grow has got all the add-on kits uh, all the optional extras. We have got another quad grow. Uh, this is the one we took to the garden press event. Um, yeah. This is just the standard quad grow without any of the uh, the add-ons. You can see we've already got ripe fruit uh, in there. So which which, which fruits are they? Uh, that one's red skin. So they're four dwarf sweet peppers, uh, three red skins, and we've got one mohawk, which is a yellow one. Uh, that's just at the other end. I see there's plenty of fruit coming on there now. Yeah, they're looking good now. Very good. So the actual quad, quad grows themselves, I mean, how long did it take you to assemble them? Is, is it fairly simple, the steps to, to take to, to set them up? Yeah, it all comes in one box. And there's just two reservoirs, two support trays, a couple of tank covers and four pots. So about five to ten minutes to set up and then a little bit of time just to plant your plants up afterwards and sit them on the quad grow. Just oh, need a flat good. surface really. Just a flat surface. So how does it actually work? So you've got the reservoir in the in the base of the planter and am I right in saying it pulled the feeder mat pulls the water up to the plants? It does yeah in fact I can probably just uh, lift this pot up slightly and you'll see the feeder mat which runs through into the reservoir tank so that's just some capillary matting you can see some roots already growing on there right down into the tank which is good um yeah and it just uses capillary act and it draws up the nutrient solution from the reservoir and keeps your plants nicely watered and fed brilliant so you mentioned before that the quad grow comes with some optional add-ons so what are they specifically and what would you recommend uh, to our customers? Uh, yeah, if we have a look at this one at the back, this has got some bigger sweet peppers in. Um, you can see right away, each part is covered with what we call the mulch cap. Right. So that's got three purposes. It uh, reduces evaporation from the surface of your compost. Um, so you get healthier roots in the, the upper surface of the compost. Um, it stops uh, flies laying their, their eggs in there and uh, particularly uh, scarred flies so you don't get the larvae eating the roots. Uh, yep. and it stops algae on the surface as well. As you can see, each of the mulch caps has this feature on the side, which is a grommet that grips your cane. So that's the cane support part of it. And if you look further down, there's a complementary grommet which is fitted just inside the, the hole in the reservoir tank. So with those two um, connection points, you can then put a cane uh, and on the other side. So you can get two canes, which is handy if you want to tie strings to or just uh, general useful cane support. Brilliant. Uh, the next add-on, which you can see there, we've got a solar panel here. I've just got it resting up against the side of the pot, but you know, you can... Uh, you could cable tie it up somewhere high up in your greenhouse if you wanted to catch yeah. more sun. And that is connected all the way down there to a pump. So the lead goes into the reservoir. And if you look around the other side, now you won't be able to see the pump, but there is a, there is a water pump down there. Oh, not sure if you can see it. Yeah, just about. Yeah, and that's connected to this manifold here, which screws into the side of the reservoir, and it has these eight dripper lines coming out from it. So right. if you follow those around, each of the parts has two drippers. Right. There we go, there's one of them. So when the sun comes out, it powers the solar-powered pump which pumps the nutrient solution down the dripper line through the dripper so the plants get drip irrigated 
um, which gives them the extra water and food that they need when it's sunnier. Very clever. Um, there's just one one key to bear in mind is when using the solar conversion kit, uh, you have to use a more free draining growing medium. So it comes with some hydro cocoa, which is a mixture of coir fibre and clay pebbles um, as a peat based compost would probably get a bit too wet. So that's a more free draining growing medium to give perfect uh, root zone conditions. Very good. Um, a few customers tend to ask whether you can just use clay pebbles in the quad grow. I mean, what would you suggest in this case? Uh, no, not at all. Unfortunately, just clay pebbles don't have the capillary action required. Um, so they wouldn't draw the water up into the growing medium. Uh, they work far better just with a, a general multi-purpose compost, which doesn't have to be over fertilized either because um, you, you, the beauty of the system is using the nutri grow feed which is a complete feed. So it's actually better when your compost has run out of fertilizer so that you can uh, then introduce the complete nutri grow feed and then so, the plants really, really will grow to their optimum. So all quad grows come with this free nutri grow plant feed. What are the actual correct dosage rates that customers should be using? Um, we keep it very simple at six mils per litre. So six it's a two-part feed, so you have an A and a B, and you use six mils per litre of A and six mils per litre of B, uh, and that's got absolutely everything in it that your plants need to grow in the perfect balance. Great. Would you would you ever suggest checking the pH in the quad grow at all? Uh, I'd say that was an option that if you're really interested, um, you can start getting into buying a pH test kit or a, a pH meter and test your pH and adjust it if you require. But um, our nutrients, the nutri grow is formulated so that uh, with most people's tap water, um, it will lower the pH to um, to about the, the ideal window, which is about 5.8 to 6.8. So in most people's water, with the right dose rate of nutri grow, it will adjust the pH to be within the uh, the correct window anyway so sure. um, that's something for uh, enthusiasts to get a bit more uh, into the hobby that they could start uh, tweaking their ph for, to really optimize their growth but it's not necessary for, for normal conditions fair enough fair enough just quickly back onto the feeder mats you showed us earlier how often would you say that customers should replace them uh, generally you'd use fresh ones every season however you you can reuse them you just have to get a very stiff brush and uh, give them a good clean and get all the root out at the end of the season um, and they they might be um, you might get a second season out of them but uh, generally it's best to use fresh ones each season yeah great well thanks for your time Paul I'm sure a lot of our quad grow customers and potential quad grow customers know a lot more about the product now and uh be more interested to buy so i appreciate you, the time you've given us in the greenhouse this morning and um yeah i can see those other planters in the greenhouse maybe we'll we'll have a time sometime in the following few weeks to, to discuss some of them i can see that's the duo grow that's the duo grow just there yeah that's got yeah. some uh, bell peppers just setting fruit on there there's quite a large one very good and there's a few vivi grows in the back um Oh, there's just one other thing I can show you that's an add-on that we didn't mention, um, which is the water butt link kit. So yeah. if you just look through this entrance hatch, you'll see in there is a float valve. Right, yeah. Just see I've just set that up, so it's not quite yet connected, but if you follow the, uh, the tube, that goes all the way to the water butt. And once I've filled my water butt up, That'll go on there, and with the tap on, once it's full, that will keep the reservoir topped up in the full position as long as you've got water in your water butt, and that'll enable you to go on holiday, safe in the knowledge that all your plants are still going to get fed and watered. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Great. Well, thanks again, Paul. Appreciate the time. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay.